Other news tonight, a grocery train that has struggled financially in the past is once again closing stores. Fresh and Easy is closing 50 stores nationwide, more than two dozen of those right here in Southern California. Tonight, KCAL's Jasmine Veal is live in Compton at one of the stores on the list with reaction. Jasmine. That's right, right here behind me. This is one of the 50 stores nationwide that will be closing. Take a look at how busy it still is tonight. I've just seen a steady stream of shoppers, customers coming in and out of here all evening long, and they say this closure will definitely change their neighborhood. A closing sign taped to the sliding doors of this Compton Fresh and Easy grocery store greeted customers Sunday night, like M. Bumpers and his wife Cheryl. We was kind of disappointed, you know, because there's no other really uh, store like this in the area. For Fresh and Easy employee Jay Libel, who accepted the job here eight months ago and was on the path to becoming a manager, the news is a hard blow. Uh, it was pretty upsetting. Like I said, I left my other job to be with the company. Libel says he and about 20 other co-workers here as well as hundreds working at the 30 locations set to close in the Southland with at least eight of those in the Inland Empire alone will get a severance package or be transferred. My reaction is just devastated. Compton City Councilwoman Jana Zarita just heard the news while shopping and says a senior center next door depends on the fresh food and produce. With an aging community and with so much uh, juvenile obesity in the community, um, you got to have somewhere to get some fresh fruit. CEO Jim Keyes made the closure announcement in a video posted to YouTube on Friday. In the video, which has since been removed by the user, Keyes said every penny counts and they will use the money elsewhere. Trim the tree, prune it, and be able to give it a healthier base to continue growing. Twitter is filled with postings and pictures like this one of a closure sign at an Oxnard store. The grocery store chain has gone through bankruptcy in the past, temporarily closed some stores in 2010 because of the economy, and finally sold in 2013 to another company, passing on its losses. And again, this is going to be happening pretty fast. All of these stores will be closing no later than April 3rd. Tomorrow, I'm told, everything in the store will be 50% off except for produce. And for a complete list of all of the local store closures, the addresses, that is all posted on our website, kcal9.com, on the scene on TV link. Live in Compton, Jasmine Veal, KCAL 9 News.